everyone, so at the time of this video going live, me and Lily will actually be in LA, but I'm doing a bit of pre-filmed magic here because I thought I would show you guys what beauty bits I've taken with me. This is going to be a very casual, I'm just going to get my vlogging camera out and I'm just going to cut to kind of what I'm taking, hand luggage wise, beauty wise. But a few tips before we start, and the first thing I would say is start packing early. I started packing about two weeks before this trip but that is because we're trying to juggle moving and kind of going on holiday all at the same time. Definitely wouldn't suggest that. So I've kind of been having a suitcase for LA on the go for a while just so I can throw bits in there and I find that packing quite early means that you're less likely to forget things because that way sort of you'll be on the loo or something and you think toothbrush, yes I need to take my toothbrush and you kind of add that into the bag. And what I like to do is kind of pack as much as I can and then write a list of things that I'm missing. So that's what I've got in my notepad over there, sort of a list of still things that I need to pack, but that way I know that I'm gonna have everything when I leave. My second tip would be that Muji is absolutely awesome when it comes to travel packing stuff. I haven't actually got too much with me today, but like their little containers and their little spray pots and stuff are just absolutely great. You can order them online or head to one of their stores in London and I would highly suggest going there just because it does make packing an absolute breeze. Superdrug and Boots also do like the little plastic containers as well and I find those really handy. My third tip would be to not overpack and I should probably practice what I preach here because I probably have got a few too many lip options but I'm only going away for a week. Kind of think how many days you're going away for and realistically how much makeup or beauty bits you're going to need for that time. Most places you're going to go to the world you'll be able to buy things that you need. If you need a shower gel you can just get it there or that type of thing. And actually that's just reminded me of a bonus tip. If you're going away with just hand luggage there's loads of restrictions on like how many liquids and all that kind of stuff that you can take. Me and my friends did hand luggage only for a week away on a beach holiday and what we did is we just bought all of our toiletries collectively when we got to the airport so go through security and all of that bit and then once you get to duty free there's usually like a boots or a super drug there and we just stocked up on like big bottles of shampoo, conditioner, SPF, shower gel, all of that kind of stuff. I know what my last tip is. My last tip is that if you need any extra help, I have done little holiday packing guides, like little PDFs that you can print off with tick boxes on, and I will pop a link to the post that has a link to that PDF in it below because I actually find that really handy. I end up revisiting that post quite a lot and printing off the PDF. And although it is a bit dated, I probably should do a new one because I think I did that about two years ago now. It just makes you think like, hairbrush, toothbrush, cotton wool, like all your standard things are there and it just sort of helps you condense everything that you need. And I ended up doing little different PDFs for different types of holidays that you're going on. So I think I did festivals, city break, adventure camping type things and also beach holidays. So I will link up to that playlist below because I did lots of different videos with lots of different PDFs. So there's plenty of information there. But now onto what I've packed for this LA trip. So this is everything and here we have my makeup in this Chanel makeup bag. Not trying to be fancy, it's just the one that it fits in the best. These are my brushes and these are in a little Muji brush case. This is all of my beauty stuff for hand luggage and this is in a little Sephora on the go travel pack. This is really good actually, nice and wipeable. And then these are all of my toiletries and this is like a very homemade setup. The roll is actually one that I nabbed from the hotel that me and Mark stayed in in New York over New Year's and then I put an elastic band round it <laughs> to keep it closed and then this has all like my cotton pads and muslin cloth and cotton buds and all those sorts of bits in. This is where the bulk of my beauty stuff is and like I said in here I just have all the cotton things, a few toothpicks, muslin cloth in there and this little strip of cotton buds is from Muji. I've got an SPF, this one is Natura Bise, it's SPF 30 and it's really nice, it's a dry oil so it doesn't feel greasy on the skin. Then in the top, this is where I keep all of my tools, so I've got a Venus snap razor in there, I've got some tweezers, some nail scissors, a little miniature aromatherapy associates bath oil which comes in really handy, I always end up letting my friends use that as well and then a pair of earbuds. And then this centre bit is all like hair and body and shower stuff, so I've got my toothbrush, my toothpaste. This is a little miniature tend skin because this is great for making sure you don't get any ingrown hairs anywhere. A mini or bay dry texturising spray because that stuff is just so awesome. 
This is a Kerastase Nectothermique Leave-In Balm, which I thought could be quite handy in case my hair gets quite dry, because I haven't bought a conditioner with me. I'm just gonna pop that in at the end. And actually, for my shampoo, I bought this from Kerastase. Then shower gel, I always pick up one of these, the original source ones, but normally the shower gel in the hotel room does me. This is a little mini roll-on deodorant. I always forget to bring body cream and then actually really miss it. I also went a little crazy with my label maker and put a little body sticker on top, but this little case is from Muji as well. And it's just got in the Kiehl's creme de corps whipped um, body butter. And then this is the Vita Liberata Capture the Light, again in just a little bottle that I think this one is from Boots. Then in the bottom, I've got some skincare. I've also got some skincare in my hand luggage bit, so this is just some of it. Decanted out, again, I think this is from Boots. This is the Una Brennan Super Facialist Cleansing Oil, the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, which I just use as my serum morning and night. I absolutely adore that stuff. In here it says it's Sherleek, but actually it's the Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence that I'm using at the moment, like a little toning spritz. I've made myself a little miniature miniature of the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask by Peter Thomas Roth, just because sometimes when I travel my skin gets really dry and gross, and that is fab for that. And then in here I've put face, and this is the Tata Harper Restorative or Reparative Moisturiser. Love that stuff at the moment. And then also SPF. This is from Estee Lauder and this is their Daywear SPF 50. And then in the back I put some of the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels just because I know I'm going to be so knackered after the flight and I packed two because I thought Lily might want one as well. Then these are all of my hand luggage supplies that fit in this little Sephora bag and of course I've got a little eye mask thing just because I always feel really fancy when I have one of those on. I've got a toothbrush and a mini toothpaste in there that I picked up from another flight. Pack of tissues, more earplugs, can you tell that I really don't like noise? <laughs> then the L'Occitane hand purifying gel, this smells of lavender and smells absolutely incredible. I've got a mini um, wet brush as well with a ton of hair bands around the bottom. And then these are all kind of the beauty bits. I've got Decanted Out, this is the MV Organics Rose Plus Booster which is the most glorious oil ever and I just feel like on a plane when you feel all gross and dry that's going to come in really handy. I've got a rollerball of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White because I get really stinky on a plane. <laughs> I've got the Roto Cooling Eye Drops which feel incredible, it's like mint for your eyes. And then this is the Clarins Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm. Like this because it's a fingerless application so you don't need to dip your finger into anything. This is my eye cream that I'm using at the moment and it's the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Eye Cream and also the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I don't tend to use as much in my skincare routine anymore, but it smells so good that for flights, it's really relaxing and refreshing in equal measures. And something else that's really relaxing is the This Works Deep Sleep Stressless like rollable, really nice, great if you're a bit of a nervy flyer. Don't worry, these brushes will get a good clean before I go away, but I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Powder and Sculpt Brush, a MAC 217, my Louise Young Super Foundation Brush, I think it's LY34, my Bobbi Brown Eye Blender one. This is an Anastasia one, but I just like it for the spoolie on the end. The Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush, this is a Zoeva, I think. A pencil brush, 230, yeah, that's the one. And then a MAC 242 just to apply colour to the lids. And then also a MAC 187 because that is really, really good for bronzer and powder and anything like that. Yeah, I feel like I might have gone a bit overboard in the makeup department. <laughs> this mirror is from Muji and it comes in so handy, so I'm definitely bringing that with. And then I thought I'd bring this little Clarins Instant Light Radiant Bronzer, just in case these bases become a bit too light. And also the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Primer, which feels so good on the skin, really cooling and actually holds makeup in place. And I've decanted out a little bit of my Estee Lauder Perfectionist foundation in there and also a little bit of the Laura Mercier Oil-Free Tinted Moisturiser. This is the Chanel Concealer. And then for powder, I've gone for the Bourjois and then also the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. Probably you don't need both of them, but the Bourjois is quite mattifying, whereas the MAC has a bit more of a dewiness to it. So I thought I'd bring both, so I've got the option. For cheeks, I've bought the NARS Laguna Bronzer and also the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. This is a new purchase from Becca, and this is their Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Moonstone. I'm obsessed with American Beauty Girls at the moment, and they all use this. So I picked it up, and also for cheeks, I thought I'd bring the new Bourjois Aqua Blush because it's really, really long-lasting. I've got a few tools down here, like the Beauty Blender and my Shira Mira Eyelash Curlers. And then for eyes, I've got my NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in a little pot. I thought for colour I'd bring the Lorac Pro Palette, my one looks quite battered but you've basically got a bit of everything there, you've got mattes, you've got shimmers 
And then I did bring along the By Terry Ombre Black Star in Brown Perfection because I love how that looks on the lash line. And also the Charlotte Tilbury Mesmerized Eyes, whatever it's called, cream eyeshadow in the shade Beck because it's just beautiful. For eyeliner, I bought this one from Marc Jacobs in the shade Brown Out. And then for brows, I bought this Bobbi Brown thing that I've been using recently. And also my Fairy Drop Scandal Queen Mascara. Of course, it's waterproof. That is not going to budge in the heat. And then over here, I've got lip products. Yeah, I probably don't need this many. I've got another Marc Jacobs liner. This is their lip liner in the shade Honey Bun. It's a great peach colour. This is the Chanel Rouge Allure Gloss in the shade Sensible, which is a really nice pink, which is very similar to the Clarins. Probably don't need both of those. Um, for a red, I thought I'd bring along NARS Red Square. And then for lips, MAC Cutter Caper, which is a really lovely peach shade. And then the other one is, I think, Chanel Adrienne. Yeah, Chanel Adrienne, which is just a really nice, pretty nude. And that concludes a little peek around my travel beauty supplies. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. There will be a little LA themed get ready with me coming on Sunday and lots of LA videos to come and vlogging my trip. So that'll be up soon as well. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye. <laughs>